Yeah, I had a couple of hours to spare in my workshop uh, earlier on and I thought I'd do a little job that I've been meaning to do for a while on my Martha lathe because I've got some drilling work to do soon and uh, I've always meant to make this adapter to make my tail stock so it works with power feed so that's what I've done up up to now I've, I've, I've got to the point where if you can see it it's here I'm just about to make two little holes in the tail stock to accept this bracket this fixed it tail stock so I'll just explain to you where I'm up to with this what, what I've done I've uh, I've got a piece of Uh, good quality key steel and I've made this little adapter bracket if you can see that and this fits onto me uh, my cross slide into my T-slot so basically it's an extended T-slot with a lip on it that clamps to the cross, cross slide and what happens is the adapter part that fits to tail stock bolts to the tail stock base and it hooks onto this part when it's fitted on here. See what happens is this will be fastened to tail stock. You bring your tail stock up to cross slide position it up to cross slide and then slide your cross slide over like that and it uh, it catches hold of that lip and then you put this clamp on top to clamp everything into cross slide now I've made this um, to suit myself really for jobs I'm doing there's nothing to stop you making a, a, a longer T slot or making it some other method to fasten into cross slide if you've not got T-slots so uh, like I said I've made this out of some key steel and I'll show you a drawing in a minute which I've made and uh, it's just straightforward milling this now there's nothing to stop you fabricating this just to show you your cross slide if you can see that it could be fabricated, it could be made different shape. I've made it offset like that for a reason so I can get to me cross slide locking screw which is at the side of it. So that's the only reason it's offset. So I'll just show you where I'm just up to the point now where I'm going to take tail stock off and drill it. Uh, so I'll just show you where this position's on tail stock. Now I know you might think, well, I, do, I don't want, I don't want to uh, do any damage to my tail stock, but it only entails two two small holes in base, and I've had a look at it, and it, and it doesn't affect structure at tail stock. So I'll just show you this, just a second. Right, so here's my tail stock, and what happens is this bracket, this is the other part to it by the way, I'll just show you around that, and like I said I've made a, a little drawing what, what you can have a look at, but you can make it to size just to suit yourself, you can fabricate it, but I've made it out of uh, good quality key steel, then I've blackadized it, so what happens is, this clamps to base at tail stock here if you can see that and how I've got my markings for tail stock I've, I've made uh, some packers up to suit the size of me my saddle where this will, will be resting on and I've just offered it up to tail stock and scribed a line across to get my position to mark out the two holes that it's going to fit, that's, that's going to fit on with and it's going to fit on with two um, let me get the size right, two 3BA uh, I tensile screws 
So I've just repositioned tailstock to show you. I'm going to put two holes in tailstock in the base. Now it don't interfere with any workings at tailstock. I've made sure of that. And it's not going to go too close to that T, T um, slide. That's where it's going to be positioned there. So I'm just going to drill them two holes and tap on 3BA uh, off camera. I just thought I'd show you this. I said I was going to do it off camera, but I just thought I'd show you. I've, I've clamped my tailstock to uh, to an angle plane and set it up with square, so it's vertical with drill. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to drill uh, two holes to take them uh, 3BA screws. Right, I've drilled, I've drilled the holes, uh, 3BA I think I said, uh, I'll show you it drawing in a minute anyway, and I've fastened this bracket on to tailstock now, if you can see that, and it's just basically uh, some a good quality high carbon steel, well not high, medium carbon, I think it's a bit of key steel I had, I'll just show you that profile. And it's just bolted to base uh, tailstock, and I've gone in. I've gone in about probably three quarter deep, and I've fastened it with two high tensile uh, set screws, countersunk. Uh, now you could beef this up, make it a lot stronger than what I've done it, but I've done it for <clears throat> this size for a reason. Uh, basically. <coughs> I've done it that size to keep it in proportion with lathe and I'm not doing any massively heavy duty drilling it with this lathe because I've got my other bigger lathe to do that. So I'll just show you what happens with this now before I show you it drawing. I've just got to swing camera around a fraction. So there's my other part bolted to, to um, compound slide, no cross slide, sorry, not compound slide, cross slide, and then you just slide your tail stock up to it, like so. Move your cross slide over till it locks with that piece on, t on tail stock, and then it, the old tail stocks attached to your saddle. And if you put your feed on, like so, the tail stock's now moving with, comp with uh, saddle. And then, obviously, if you've got if you've got uh, your stops on your lathe, you can set your stops, go to your depths, and put it on any feed you want. Sit, sit back and watch it go. But I'm not doing any heavy duty drilling with this. It's basically for light duty work. Like I said, I've got my bigger lathe for that. So, so you could actually beef it up if you wanted and, uh, and make it a lot stronger to do more heavy duty drilling. So what you do then, you just move your, your cross slide back to disconnect. Slide your tail stop back and then just use your lathe as normal then. And I've I've left it this small so I've because I've got my my parting tool to fit on back and uh, any other fixtures I put I put on here so it's not interfering with them. So I'll show you it drawing in a minute then. Right, so there's my sketch if anybody wants to take note or anything, but it's pretty straightforward really, just just take your dimensions from your lathe if you want to beef it up or if you've got a different if you haven't got a Myford lathe and you've got a different type of lathe um, but like I said I've done this specifically to keep to keep it in proportion with my lathe and I'm, I don't intend doing any heavy drilling with it uh, like I said I've got my bigger lathe for that but it's quite easy to beef this up to a bigger size and, and use it for big, a lot bigger drilling, as, as big as you wanted really. 
So there's my, there's my sketch anyway, if anybody's interested. I think it's focused. Right, I've just adjusted my light on my lathe. I, I think it might have been dazzling a bit with, and, and got a glare on the screen. So I'll just show you again what happens. Tail stock pushes up to as far as you can up to your cross slide. Move your cross slide across to engage the bracket. And then once it's fully engaged, your tail stock is it moving in conjunction with your saddle so you can use your feeds then uh, to do drilling work. And then like I said, if you've got a, a system of stops that you clamp to your, to your lathe bed, uh, on, your, on your lathe bed, you can adjust your stops and then once you get to your stops, you know you've got to your depth and you can just sit back and, and watch it drill. Uh, and then just to disconnect, once again you, you pull your cross slide b back till it disengages, then your tail stock's free and then you can keep using your tail stock as normal then, as you would do. You just lose a, 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 little, a little fraction there, we're not able to push it right up. But you can if you bring your tail stop, if you bring your compound cross slide, sorry, back, it goes up as normal then. So anyway, just a little project for you there. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a look at my other videos if you've not seen them. Bye for now then.